Hey everyone, how you doing? It is me, Tim. Gonna be reading What the Shepherd Saw by Salim Lagurla Maja the Sabah. Please enjoy. And there was a man who went out in the dark night to borrow live coals to kindle a fire. He went from hut to hut and knocked. Dear friends, help me, he said. My wife has just given birth to a child and I must make a fire to warm her and my little one. But it was way in in the night and all the people were asleep and no one replied the man walked and walked at least he saw a gleam of fire a long way off he went in the di direction and saw that the fire was burning in the open a lot of sheep were sleeping around the fire and an old shepherd sat and watched over the flock when a man who wanted to borrow fire came up to the sheep he saw that three dogs laid asleep at the shepherd's feet all three awoke when the man approached and opened their great jaws as though they wanted to bark but not a sound had was heard the man noticed that the hair on the back stood up in that their sharp white teeth glistened in the firelight they dashed toward him he saw that one of the dogs bit at his leg another at his hand and the third clung to his throat but their jaws and teeth wouldn't obey them and the man didn't suffer the least harm Now the man wished to go further to get what he needed, but the sheep lay back to back so and so close to one another that he couldn't pass them. So the man stepped upon their backs and walked over them to the fire, and not one of the animals awoke or moved. When the man had almost reached the fire, the shepherd looked up. He was surely old man who was unfriendly and harsh towards other human beings. And when he saw the strange man coming, he seized the long spiked staff which he always held in his hand when he tended his flock and threw it at him. The staff came right toward the man but before it reached him it turned off to one side and whizzed past him far out in the meadow. The man came to the sheep and said, Good man, help me, and lend me a little fire. My wife had just given birth to a child, and I must 
make a fire to warm her and the little one. The shepherd would rather have said no, but when he pounded that, the dogs couldn't hurt the man, and the sheep had not run from him, and the staff had not wished to strike him. He was a little afraid and dared, dared not deny the man, but which he asked, take it as much as you need, he said to the man. By then the fire was nearly burnt out. The man, there were no logs or branches left, only a big heap of live coals, and the stranger had neither spare that shove within he could carry the red hot coals when the shepherd saw this he said again take as much as you need and he was glad that the man wouldn't be able to take away any coals But the man stopped and picked coals from the ashes with his bare hands and laid them in a mantle. And he didn't burn his hand when he touched them, nor did the coals scorch his mat mantle. He carried them away as if they had been nuts or apples and when the shepherd who was such a cruel and hard hearted man saw all this he began to wonder to himself what kind of of a night in this when the dogs did not bite, the sheep not scared, the staff does not kill, not the fire scorch. He called the stranger back and said, what kind of a night is this? And how does it happen that all things show you compassion? Then the man said, I cannot tell you if you yourself do not see it. And he wished to go his way that he might soon make a fire and warm his wife and child. But the shepherd did not wish to lose sight of the man before he had found out what all th this might portend. He got up and followed the man till they came to the place where he lived. When the shepherd saw the man didn't have much as a hut to dwell in but his wife and baby were laying in a mountain uh, gotten where there was nothing except the cold naked stone walls. The shepherd thought that perhaps the poor innocent child might freeze to death there in the ghetto. And although he was a hard man, 
he was touched and thought he would like to help the baby. So he loosened the knapsack from his shoulder, took from it a soft white sheepskin, gave it to the strange man and said that he should let the child sleep in it. Just as soon as he showed that he too couldn't be merciful, his eyes were open and he saw that he had not been able to see before and heard what he could not hear before. He saw that all around him stood a ring of little silver wing angels and each held a string instrument and all so sang in loud tones that tonight the Savior was born who should redeem the world from his sins. When he understood how things were so happy this night that they didn't want to do anything wrong. And it was not only around the shepherd that there were angels, but they were everywhere. They sat inside the ghetto. They sat in, inside in the mountains, and they flew around the heavens. They came marching in great companies. And as they passed and pa paused, and cast a glance at the child. There was such jubilation and such gladness. The song and played. And all this shepherd saw in, in a dark night. Where as before he could not have made out anything he was so happy his eyes had been open that he fell upon his knees and thanked God when that shepherd saw that he might also see for the angels flew down from heaven every Christmas Eve if he could only see them he must remember this for it is as true as true as that you see you and you see me. It is not relieved by the light of the lamps or candles. And it does not depend upon sun and moon, but that which is needful is that we have such eyes as can see God's glory. Well, everyone, I hope you all enjoyed what the shepherd saw. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. And I want to say thanks for watching. You all take care. And I want to say... Have a good one. Oh, their vlog is over.